Hello everyone and welcome back to part 75 of Build Hastings Victory. Okay, so you joined me in the last video, I've kind of finished off all this uh, this bow decoration, so now it's time to kind of work his way a little bit back. And we're going to start off by working on the uh, the cat head, obviously for the port and starboard side. So I'm pretty much going to make this cat head out of this uh, 6 by 6 mill uh, stock and also I'm going to be using some uh, 3D printed parts that you got with this uh, this bow kit that came with uh, from Woody's Model Works and plus we get a nice little decorative obviously crown cap for the end of the bow uh, for the cat head as well so that's going to look really nice so pretty much like I said I'm going to look at the uh, instructions just pretty much for the overall sizes but they kind of want you where you kind of build this and then all you really do is obviously just kind of just painting like the panelling but I've just been thinking that I'd kind of like improve it and make it look a lot better myself. Just like I say, because we're kind of enhancing all this kit, we, we don't want to stop there. I want to kind of like enhance it all the way across my So I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to show you how to kind of like just, just add some, uh, just little bits of strips of timber, just kind of make it look a little bit more like it's panelling so we don't have to paint this on. Okay, so like I said, I've got this 6 by uh, 6 mil stock. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this, I think this is a 3 mil. This is 3 mil by... 0 0.05 so I'm going to be using this to kind of like stick it on the sides either side and then kind of like frame it out to make it look more like panelling rather than obviously dusty the paint to finish the, what you do in the instructions so I'm going to start off with but it's like this is six more long so I'm going to want like a three mil panelling that's going to kind of go down all the way down the middle and then kind of we can remove that after and we can kind of stick some and it's more material either size, so I'll make it look like the panelling section. So I want to start with this first. I'm just going to draw a little pencil mark at 1.5 mil. It's quite difficult to see the 1.5 mil on here, so I'm just going to do that. Rend. So I'm just going to take this piece of stone brush I've got one that's cut down already. I'm just going to kind of line it up with the two pencil marks. I mean, obviously, eyeball it as well, just to make sure that it looks in the, that part looks in the centre. And then, when you're happy with that, just get one of these clamps. And all I'm going to do is just clamp that nice and flush. So you move down to the bottom, make sure it looks in the centre, and just put another clamp on this one. Okay, so I'd say that's only just temporary. That's just kind of so we can kind of get the uh, like the center line for this panel, so we can like frame it out with some more material. So I'm going to take some more of this and cut this at 100 mil as well. Like I said, we don't have to be precise yet. Let's take a little bit of my uh, Gorilla Glue. That's a touch. Like I say, I found I used to use uh, way too much glue when I was obviously, I used to have to let a lot of it harden up. So now all I do is just tend to put a little bit in a time. And what I'm going to do is just, just going to paint on good helping of glue all the way on this uh, first section. And all I'm going to do now is just butt these edges up and that part, that part we just kind of temporarily fitted. And I'm just going to move the clumps to the middle of the two pieces. So it's going to cut another one at 100mm. Like I say, don't have to be precise. Same again, just paint the back end of the rear with a little strip of wood. And then kind of just take these clumps off second. And then let's drop this next one on. Let's clamp all the three parts.
Okay, so I'm going to leave this to dry 10 minutes. Do the exactly the same on the opposite side. Obviously, does the uh, exactly what we did on this face. Do it on that face. We only have to do it on the two faces. And then we'll come back. Okay, so now this has been drying for the last uh, 10 minutes. I've obviously pounded it out on the other side. So now we're going to remove this central central column. Like that. All that's going to do now is just make it look like we've all kind of like once we put the center columns, it's going to make it look like it's paneled out. So, all we need to do now is just kind of remove this excess material on both sides and get it a nice sand down. Okay, so now we've sanded these, uh, trimmed and sanded these panel lines. We kind of, before we need to, let's add some more, like a little central column in. Okay, so before that, we need to kind of work out how these two parts are going to fit together. And they're going to kind of sit, let's see, on top of each other. So what we need to do is just need to trim off this back around about 15 degrees. So we kind of want to put it to the hull. It's all going to fit nice and flush. Okay, so let's cut that part off at 15 degrees. So I'm going to kind of like, I'm going to line up along the hole, kind of all nice and flush this time. Let's clamp, let's clamp these two parts together for a second. Can. Okay, so let's clamp them parts. So kind of what we can work out now is obviously just using this, using this picture as a reference, we can kind of see where this, it's kind of support finishes. We've kind of got a little gap and then that's when we get this central column. So we can probably add a couple of mil and then put in a little piece of this three by two. So I'm just gonna obviously just take it in my eye, a little pencil mark, draw a little pencil mark a bit further on. And then we can fit in this, this central column. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a piece. It's only around about three mil long. Yeah, I'm just going to drop that. It's kind of just in there. That looks okay, so I think I'll just glue that in. Okay, so that's uh, me glued in place, that looks okay. So I'm seeing the instructions tell you to have a, a cat head that's uh, around about 40 mil long. So I'm kind of gonna have it, kind of go off the instructions slightly. We can take off that now, just put that flat. I'm just gonna make a mark around about 40 mil. Okay, so we can put this next one on, but we don't have to worry about that one too much. I'm probably just going to make it 10 mil because this is pretty much where the end of the cat will be. So I'm going to cut that flush. So I'm just going to cut one around about 10 mil. Just go that into place. Okay, so kind of what we've done now is kind of try to replicate. So this kind of this paneling from this picture, I think it looks okay. Okay, so pretty much just gonna do the same on the other side, then kind of cut it to length and we can go from there. Okay, so now these panels have, have dried, these little panel ends we've just put on. All we're gonna do now is just cut this to length at 40, 40 millimeters. So I've brought across my little saw, just using the uh, straight cut sledge. I'm just gonna bring it across, cut it off at 40 mil.
Okay, so once you've kind of cut it all to length and give it a nice sand, that's pretty much how we should be uh, looking now. So now what I'm going to do is you can stick on this this crown. So we can do that now. Obviously, making sure that it's actually facing the right way. I can take a little bit of super glue. Just put a little bit of super glue on this face. Kind of let's say get the crown, making sure it's uh, facing the right way, and then just center it up. I should just stick and look like that. Okay, so now we need to make some slots for the uh, the kind of the rigging lines to go through. So like I said, the real victory's got three, but obviously for the purpose of this model, I'm only going to be adding two. So I'm just going to start off with, I'm just going to draw a little pencil mark about three mil back. And then there. Uh, tells you to make a, make a slot so around about six mil long so I'm just gonna do another pencil mark about six mil back and then it's gonna come in two mil either side Okay, because I've kind of made mine a little bit thicker than the instructions, I can probably get away with got a gap around about four mil in the middle, so I could probably have to get away with actually adding it. The centre one to make it look like this it's free. Okay, so all I've got to do now is just uh, drill some one mil holes all the way through. Like I say, you're not going to see much of this because my hand's going to be in my way, so I'll uh, come back when it's finished. Okay, so I'm just drilling these six soles all the way through. All I'm going to do now is just take my sharp knife and I'm just going to like cut in a slight trench. So I'm just going to kind of go from the edges of the two holes either side and just kind of score along. And it's going to come from the side with a knife. And then just take out some of this excess material. And then just do that on all three. So now I'm just going to use one of the little engraver tools. I'm just going to clean up the holes. Like I said, if we'd have gone straight in with the engraver tool without scoring it first, the kind of engraver tool might have gone off to the side. So, like I say, by just scoring them little lines, it gave us uh, something nice in there, nice channel for us to follow. And that's the three holes, and also the little, uh, little like, obviously, well, where the kind of pulleys are looks, they're kind of looking like a pulley. And that's kind of added that to the cat head. That's got to do the same on the other side, and then we can move on. Okay, so pretty much after just kind of hollowing out these little, uh, these channels for the LC looks like they replicate the uh, rigging. Pretty much that's the, the main construction of all this cat head all complete. So what I'm going to do now, I was kind of thinking about what's the best way to do it. And I think personally, I'm going to try it on this, uh, what side are we on? You know, this is going to be the starboard side. So I'm going to actually glue this, this molding onto the uh, cat head first and fit it that way and try that this time. Then I can kind of like bend this round the hull why right, it's fitted to this cat head. Pretty much all I've got to do is kind of just make sure that that's nice and 
nice and flush edge, which it is. I'll just run the back of my knife down, take off any excess. That should be okay. I'm just going to apply a little bit of super glue to this top of my support. Kind of make sure that, like I say, I've got it the right way around. Okay, so glued to support right into the cat head. That's pretty much all that's left to do now is just get this all the entire paint and fit it to, uh, to, to the hole. I'm not going to show you that this time. Obviously, I've showed you loads of painting in previous in previous videos. I kind of want to kind of just progress a bit and get the build moving on slightly. But I'll just show you a reveal, uh, reveal shot at the end of the video. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon.